Peace and salutations to everyone. This is Adrian X. Myad of the People's New Black Panther Party of the Las Vegas chapter. Welcome to the People's Enrichment Program. Uh, I am your master student. And today we're going to be talking about 528 Hertz, uh, the purpose behind that. And we're also going to talk about Maya philosophy, uh, a good beginning for children. Uh, I'm going to give you examples as I lay out those uh, 13 principles uh, that are called 13 first. But if you want to look at the comedic term, it's called set, setback unkma, okay, which means instructions for living, okay. So with that being said, before I get into that, uh, the lesson, I want to first thank everybody that showed up to uh, the event that took place on the 13th, the history of white people. Uh, I gave the presentation. I appreciate all uh, your lovely, beautiful African faces that showed up from children to the adults and to the elders that came out. It was uh, much appreciated. Uh, we see, received donations, thanks to you guys, and we're gonna keep uh, building and growing and we need your support. We're going to keep on practicing uh, all our principles that we have learned from our ancestors and carry on. That's the whole point of Sankofa. So, but yeah, let me not, uh, let me not go on my rant. But anyway, uh, I pre we, we really appreciate uh, you supporting us and make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, The People's New Black Panther Party Las Vegas. And also, Adrian X Maya, subscribe to all our social medias. You can find us, okay? And with that being said, um, uh, 528 hertz. 528 hertz, you got to think about it. It's known as uh, uh, the miracle turn, uh, tone or healing music, okay? And uh, the frequency that is uh, thought, it is thought to help uh, return human uh DNA to its original state, okay, so, uh, by removing impurities, okay, by repairing your DNA, you're not only enhancing your life energy, but your mind uh, set improves, okay, you can expect to attain greater mental clarity and a heightened sense of awareness and deep inner peace, okay, so you must be able to retreat to your inner sanctuary, of silence and allow joy and faith to enter your heart and with that being said you gotta practice positive affirmations and uh, visualizations within your mind okay uh, like for example you can say i'm a powerful creator be mindful of the law of attraction and have faith that every uh thing will always work out for you all right and with that being said in your own way to open up to spiritual connection, return to oneness, manifest miracles into your life with intention and faith. So that's what it's all about when you listen to 528 uh, hertz uh, and how that frequency resonates with you. It hits you when you're listening to it. You're able to heal yourself. You're able to repair your DNA. You are, you're able to when you're able to practice your breathing as well, doing this, this will heal you naturally. Okay, so this is the uh, frequencies that you want to hear and you want to attain because it is, uh, it's a six-tone miracle tone that had divine-like properties. So uh, what some people call it today is uh, soul fragio or sofagio okay which is uh like i said it's a six tone uh audio skill that is said to date back to the ancient times okay and that carry uh divine like properties uh and in recent times each frequency has been found to carry a specific set of healing well-being and spiritual benefits that affects the listeners okay this includes dna repair like we just uh talked about relief from past traumas okay and opening the soul and spiritual experiences okay so with that being said we want to dive into the 
my uh, philosophy, which is setback up mark, which is uh, a good beginning for children. The 13 first, which is this can also be applied to adults, but this is particularly you can use it for your children, but also you can apply it for yourself as well. So this is these principles are universal. OK, so the first principle uh, would be love self first. OK, first know yourself, uh, love and respect yourself and then you can know and love respect uh, uh, others. With that being said, to add on you, you pretty much the first law of nature is self-preservation. So it's about doing for yourself before you can be able to do for other people. And if you don't love yourself, you're not going to do nothing for yourself let alone do something for somebody else, okay? So that's the whole point of loving yourself uh, comes to. Uh, and with that being said, going on to the second principle, which would be, which would be uh, African first. First love your own as you would love yourself, and then you uh, can genuinely love others. Again, that just goes back to you loving yourself first and having that... Uh, Knowing your history, knowing your culture, you know, beginning to know, uh, get back to your roots and get back to uh, leaders that actually met something like Dr. Khaled Muhammad, Malcolm X, Tupac, Afini Shakur. These people were had a great, profound impact on our history because they were making changes by uh, speaking out against all ill wills and Ill, uh, atrocities that the government imposed on black people. You get what I'm saying? So that's a part of doing that. So when you when you can speak out for yourself, you can definitely do it for your, your own people. So that's a part of your African first, okay? So family first. First fulfill family responsibilities, and then you can take on other responsibilities, okay? So with that being said, do what you need to do at home. That can be cleaning up. That can be sweeping. That can be paying bills. That can be uh, cooking. Whatever that uh, the ca uh, case may be, fulfill your role uh, within the household. Okay. So with that being said, uh, then you can also help other people. It's a domino effect. Okay. If you can help with uh, the first economic system starts with your family first. That's the that's the whole basis of economics is your family so if you have a solid uh foundation with your family economically speaking then more than likely you can be eco uh economically uh sound when you get out in the uh, uh, uh real world and also you're able to help people as well okay and practice uh cooperative economics so with that being said going on to the next one which is number four internal first uh which is first the inner then the outer okay sometimes we are at at war with our own hearts at times so when we're at war uh at our own at our when we're at war with ourselves at times sometimes you gotta detoxify ourselves from maybe social media, like my, for example, I had to detox myself from social media. I took like 30 days away from uh, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, things of that sort, because I wanted to make sure that I, 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 I was cleansed and making sure that I was good, making sure that I'm just, you know, providing for myself, uh, you and making sure that I practice my positive affirmations because there's so much going on on social media. It's a lot of political upheaval, cultural wars, gender wars going on. So it's so much going on on social media. And with that being said, you just gotta detox yourself uh, from from uh, all that nonsensical stuff, that daffy stuff that's that goes on in the world. So that's what happens uh, when when you uh, when you focus on the outer versus the inner? Okay, so focusing on yourself more so, not being selfish, but focusing on yourself so you can fulfill your moral obligations uh, that you have on the planet to do. Okay, so that's what that eternal first is all about. 
in, in my humble, uh, utmost humbled uh, perspective. Okay, so my eye first. My eye first means first make uh, your heart perfect and then you can develop your mind and body. So when your heart is afloat, just like the feather is in the ocean, when you toss the feather in the ocean, it stays afloat no matter how high uh, the sea gets or how low it gets. So no matter what happens in the water, it's able to stay afloat. You have to be able to do that as well when it uh when it comes to your heart when it applies to life in the midst of the chaos in the midst of the good and the bad or the ugly you got to keep your heart afloat okay so that's what it means by us saying first make your heart perfect okay your heart communicates to your brain as well it sends forty thousand neurons to the neuron transmitters to the brain so the heart is also capable of thinking and then when you think about when a uh, when an embryo is for, first created, the heart is developed before anything. Okay, so you have that heart beating first, which is alive and well. So, but anyway, that's that's why you have my philosophy. Okay, uh, that's the whole point of keeping. Uh, it's it's just making sure that you. What are, what are the que the key questions are. What are your intentions? Okay, what are your motives? Okay, so that's why your heart is weighed, uh, weighed on a scale uh, versus anything else. Okay, so with that being said, uh, D's first is, is the sixth principle, which is first value D's, then words. What you determine is uh, your worth. Okay, so yes, your, out, your actions uh, speak louder than words. So a person can say anything they want, but the actions tell it all, okay? Be proactive uh, in, in everything you do, okay? Uh, and then also, you know, just your your actions follow behind the words. So yes, it's, it's good for us to know principles and affirmations and things of that sort, but it's one thing for us to change our behavior or, or to uh, take action, okay? Be assertive, okay. Not pat. Don't be passively active, okay. Because some people can be passively active, okay. So you gotta be proactive, okay, and don't be reactive either, okay. All right, and it's good to be counteractive as well. All right, so these things are part of your deeds, your actions, okay. All right. So with that being said, moving on to number seven which is hard work first. First, give your uh, best work, then accept praise and reward. So it's it's good, you know, after you won something profound and you've accomplished something, whether you went to school and you graduated or you won uh, the championship in boxing or whatever the case may be, you, you, you deserve to uh, celebrate and, and receive an award for that, you know what I'm saying, because, wh or whether you building houses for the community, you deserve a reward for that as well, and praise for it, because you're helping the community, I mean, out of the kindness of your heart, uh, so people should acknowledge you for that, you know, and, and things of that sort, so you, it's okay to accept it, uh, not being a braggart about it, but just accept it you know, enjoy it, then move on, okay, it's like my coach used to tell me a long time ago, you know, you win, you go out, you celebrate a little bit, then after that, you forget about it, because there's still more work to do, see, okay, so number eight will be simplicity first, first value the basics, then uh, more complex things, okay, so once you understand the foundation of things, it's easier to build off of that, just like when it when it comes to building a house, you ha must have the foundation of it first, which will help you uh, build the house brick by brick, or whatever uh, whatever um, material you're using to build that house. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, so strong first, first honor the strong, the righteous, the dedicated, the very best, and then the weak. Okay, so with that being said, if you honor the strong, the righteous, and the dedicated, and the very best first, you you honor them, then you're able to be able to 
apply some of what they have taught you, whether they be a martial arts teacher, a, um, a, uh, it could be a healer, it could be um, your, an elder speaking to you. Uh, so if you honor them, if you honor their strength, if you honor their righteousness, if you honor their dedication, you honor that they're, that they are the best, then you're able to help people that are less unfortunate. So when they say then the weak, it's not to say people that are weak and 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 uh, and, uh, and, and look and looking down on them to say they're weak, but meaning the people that need help. Okay, the weak or or the poor or the, or the less fortunate, then you're able to help them because you you learn from the strong, you learn from the righteous, you learn from the uh the person that's dedicated, and you learn from the person that's the very best, and you wanna uh learn from people that's gonna help you grow. Iron sharpens iron. Okay, so we wanna definitely learn from people that's gonna elevate you and, and, and give you more mental stimulation or physical uh uh stimulation or whatever the case may be whatever higher echelon that you're trying to reach whether it be a spiritual mental economic uh okay things of that sort etc etc okay so with that being said moving on to number 10 which is small first first attend the small and then the vast Okay, uh, now this one here, I, I kind of went back and forth with this one on my, I had went back and forth with this principle because I read another African proverb that says, uh, fry the big fish first and then save the small one for later. So I think on, in that particular case, truth is subjective here because you, you get, Whatever is more comfortable for you. If you want to attend to the small first, then the vast, then you can. But it's but some people like to take on the big duties first and then apply the small because it, it just depends on you and where your mindset is. If you feel like you can get the small task done uh, quicker then you can get getting the bigger task done, then you, maybe you need to do that. But some people also believe that, you know, if the bigger task, the bigger task is more important. So you're going to focus on that first versus uh, versus focusing on the smaller task that can get done easy because it's a, it's a much smaller task. But whatever applies for you in that given moment, that's what you should do. That works for you. Okay, so I want to leave that one up for grabs. For number 11, though, the next one will be self-correction first. First, criticize and correct yourself and then others. When you're able to first criticize yourself and uh, correct yourself, then you're able to, uh, you know, help others uh, see the best in them. Give them uh, constructive criticism. But you first be able to, you have to be able to balance that out with yourself and be able to give yourself constructive criticism as well and receive it from people that are your teachers or, and you just got to remain coachable pretty much. And if you remain, if you remain coachable, then you're able to coach other people too. Okay. So with, with that being said, going to the next one, which will be self-reliance. Self-reliance first, uh, which is first rely on, uh, first rely on and defend self, then others. So if you're able to to defend yourself first, first and primarily, then you most definitely can uh, defend your family or a family to come if you are planning on having a family or the uh, your community around you. So if you're able to practice martial arts or get gun training or whatever the case may be, uh, not just arming yourself mentally, but also physically and also spiritually. You walk with, you walk like uh, your ancestors, like your ancestors are behind you. So with that being said, that's uh, how you have self-reliance first. And number 13, uh, which is the last principle, is wisdom first. First, seek knowledge and then spiritually guide scientific uh, action. So with that being said, you first seek knowledge and then you seek 
what ways you can apply the knowledge that you learn and uh and that's through spiritually got uh guided scientific action so that can be through yoga that can do be through martial arts that can be through uh whatever gives you that peace of mind okay to help you in that time uh and with that being said i hope you guys gain uh something out this video and uh we'll be back again with another lesson and um to to end it i want to also say this too we are working on editing the history of white people presentation so that uh content will be coming up soon give us time for that and uh um, again we appreciate everybody that showed up and we appreciate uh people that tune in and we appreciate uh all the love and support see you guys soon can't wait for the next lesson uh next lesson salute peace